What's up guys and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one we have an interesting two-dimensional sort of system of equations going on with the red circle, purple, uh, green and blue. And now you notice here, for example, we've got on the top row the red times the blue equals 84. We've got the red times the purple equals 66. We've got the blue plus the green equals 17. And then of course, last but not least, we got the purple minus that green equals eight. So what you wanna do is you wanna figure out what each value represents, what each circle represents in terms of a numerical value, then apply it to the equation at the bottom and solve for that question mark. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play, and I'll give you the explanation. All right, here's how we do it. So when we look at these equations, the thing is we want to look at two different equations simultaneously to see if we can limit our choices for some of these numbers. So for example, I'm looking at this red one and I notice it's in two different multiplication problems. It's multiplying the blue and it's multiplying the purple. And the results are 84 and 66. So what does that tell me? That tells me that the red number must be a factor of both 84 and 66. Okay, so now let's make a little, uh, quick little factor tree and we can look at the factors of 84. So I, I'm gonna start by saying it's 12 times seven. This becomes six times two. And then we've got three times two, okay? So the, we're doing a little prime factorization tree. And then let's look at 66. 66 becomes 11 and six. And then down, down the ways we get to a two and a three. Now let's look at what's common amongst these two. We've got a three that's in common and we've got a two that's in common, which means they both have a greatest common factor of six, but also factors of two and three. This means that the red circle can be anything from two, three, or six. So now let's think about this a little bit further. I, I definitely see six as a possibility and let's, let's start here. Uh, if six goes here, right, and, and we can play around with this, this may be the right answer, may not be, but if six goes here, six times what gives me 84? We've got a 14 going in the blue. So now things are gonna start to fall into place. And of course, if I'm going to assume that the red is six, we are gonna have to believe that the purple has to be 11. So, so far everything's working out. And then what must the green be? Now this is the key. If the green works with the blue and works with the purple, we know we've solved it. So for example, to get to 17, I'm gonna say that the green has to be three. And what is 11 minus three? It's also eight. Now we've solved and now we know what's going on with those colored values. Now let's plug them in here. So we've got an 11, we've got a three, we've got a six, and we've got a 14. Okay, now let's bring everything together and let's see what we got. But the important little thing here is to recognize that you gotta again pay attention to order of operation. So we've got this multiplication, this has to happen before anything else. So what's three times six? That is 18. And then we carry out the 11 at being added to that and then subtracting 14. So what is 11 plus 18? That is 29, and then we do 29 minus 14, because now we're going left to right with plus and minus. 29 minus 14 is 15, and 15 is your answer. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. If you wanna see more fun and awesome math puzzles, click that subscribe button. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.